This lesson is on measuring angles. What we use to measure an angle is called a protractor. So on the side here is a protractor. It looks like this. And if I click hard on it, I'm going to click hard on it, and it will show up. Okay. You will notice that it starts at zero, the inside here, and it goes to 180. These are all in degrees. A protractor measures angles in degrees. We also measure angles in radians, but you are not to that point. Um, that is usually, sometimes it's taken over in like an accelerated geometry class towards the end, or um, you do it in trigonometry, like a specific trigonometry class. Okay, so if I take the protractor and I put it on top of the angle, right here and so the vertex of the angle has to lie on the zero point and this part right here let me see if I've got this right the line has to line up with the side of the angle so right here and I would look in the inside because I'm starting at zero and so the opening of the angle measures, uh, that's 40, 45, 48 degrees. Now, on uh, the computer, I haven't found a really good way to put in the degree symbol so that you can also use it. And it is really important that you mark it that it's degrees. So you're going to have to type it out on this case instead of putting the little circle that's a degree symbol. So this is going to be 48 degrees. Okay. okay, another one. If I go to this page, I have my protractor. And I'm moving you got to press hard on the protractor for it to come up. It wasn't coming up before for me. Um, and so I want this on my zero and lined up here. And that looks like it's 85, 88 degrees. Okay. Any angle measure that is less than 90 degrees from 0 to 90 degrees is called an acute angle acute a c u t e a right angle is exactly 90 degrees right angles are very critical and we're going to be talking a lot about those in this section so a right angle is 90 degrees exactly and we, use, we usually use a little box or we label it 90 degrees. Anything greater than 90 degrees between 90 and 180 degrees, it can equal 180, um, is called an obtuse angle. Okay. Actually, it can't equal 180 degrees. 180 degrees is considered a straight line because 180 degrees is over here. If I take my protractor and I look at it here, I'm going from zero to 180. The reason why the numbers are on the outside is because you can flip around a protractor or I could be measuring, my angle could open up in this direction. So I'm measuring it this way. When you use trigonometry, you talk about angles being bigger than 180 degrees, like a full circle is 360 degrees. So, but you use that more in trigonometry. For our purposes, we're measuring from zero to 180 degrees. Yeah, another one. So I'm clicking on my protractor and I'm moving it over so that my center usually has a hole right there is lined up along with my first line and that looks like it's about 35 36 degrees 36 
Okay, and then the next one. Okay, now this would be an obtuse angle. We do want to get you to the point because obviously you're not running around on the soccer field with a protractor measuring the angles that you're kicking the ball at. So we do want to get you to the point to know approximately the measure of an angle just by looking at it. So I look at this and this is definitely an obtuse angle. It's past 90 degrees. And since I know 90 degrees is straight up and going to the left, a straight line is 180 degrees, this looks like it falls somewhere in between there. So I would probably, half of 90 is 45, so I would probably add 45 to 90 and I'd get about 135 degrees. Okay, that's my estimate. So let's see how close I am. Let's take the protractor and move the protractor over to the center here and line it up yes and so this line over here falls at oh uh, -huh, uh it's more than 135 degrees that would be over here it's closer to the 180 but it's in that vicinity so that's not too bad so this is past, um, I'm looking at the inside values, it's past 150, looks like it's about 151, 152, this would be 155, this longer tick mark. So that's about 152 degrees, so I'm going to put 152, oops, 152 degrees. Now, if you are a degree off, it's, it's not that big of a deal. And um, degrees, I don't know if I wrote plural or not. This is kind of sensitive as to what you're putting in. So if it's marked wrong, don't worry about it because I'm going to look through it and I'll give you the credit if you're a couple degrees off. Um, I will not give you the credit, though, unless you mark degrees. Okay. All right. Um, have fun. You know what a protractor looks like. This is the only thing that had the protractor on it for me to use it.